Okay, so you guys can see this is the stuff I got the other day. I'm just kind of sorting through it, cutting off the uh, electrical boxes, which are over there. This stuff here is going to end up in this barrel, which is an old compost. Uh, somebody didn't want it. They gave it to me. So, hey, I take it. Uh, it's got a lid on it, so it keeps the rain off it. So, as you can see, look at that. Once I've done, I just flip the lid over on it, and it keeps the rain from this here filling with rain, rainwater. I mean, it has vents on it because it's actually a compost one, and I don't need it for that. But anyhow, I've got this here, which is the fabric. I'm going to keep it and put it in here because I'm probably going to more than likely peel it this winter. I haven't quite decided. We'll see how I feel about it uh, when I get to it. Piece of metal. Pick that up, throw it over here in the metal pile. Uh, and I still got all these, these uh, base heaters. I still got two of them. I got to clean here. Well, actually, three, sorry. Three here to clean. But it has copper on it right here. These guys want to take that copper off. Uh, it's a chunk. It's, some places will take it as number one, even if it's number two for these guys. See, I took it off. There it is right there. Those are the pieces I had. So, so far, I still got the other ones to take off. And then I got to do all the copper pieces on this and stuff. All these got to be cut out. And I got to do the boxes. This is the stuff that's ready for peel. This is going to go automatically right in the shop and in a barrel because I'm not peeling it right now. I save it for the winter. Uh, so that's what uh, I do with my, uh, my number one. I save it all till uh, winter time when it's slow for me. It gives me something to do with my peeler. And as you can see, I still haven't got rid of anything. I am still, uh, I still got to, I don't know, I got a load or two here that's got to go yet. I've got to clean that yet. Yeah, it's got to be clean. The TV over there has got to be cleaned yet. Uh, there's, what else is there here? There's a bunch of stuff here I still got to clean. I got to finish off a little bit off that yet before it's completed enough that it's going to go as clean. Um, I'm just trying to get the stuff off my truck, as you can see. It's uh, an ongoing thing for uh, what's in the box, just a bunch of small stuff. I'll just put it in the box in the outside furnace. It'll start it when I need it. But uh, yeah, this is all the small stuff. I got to get it off the truck. I'm trying to sort through it all, so that's what I'm in the merge of doing right now. As you can see, this is what I do. I have to sort through it, because if I don't, it's like this. It ends up in a pile like that, and I don't know when I'm going to get it done. When it's busy, I just kind of get it here to get it unloaded, and then sort it on a slow day, if I get a slow day. So right now, I'm trying to get this done, because I still have stuff to do, but... <sighs> I got to get it off my truck, and I don't want to sort it twice, three times. I'm doing it now, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm going to put all this in that green bin. And it'll go in a lot easier than it would in a garbage can. And then I just got a few more over there that I got to cut off. And I'm just going to leave the bin out here over the pull it over there by those. I'm going to put it over there for now until I need it. And it'll be always be right here until it's full. Once it's full. And I mean, when I fill it, it's going to be like I'm going to get up on it. And I'm going to jump on this and make sure it's good in there, packed. This is going to be full, full. By winter, it'll be full. So. But that's it for now, guys. I got to get at some more of this. Just thought I'd show you. Okay, so cleaning company didn't have... Uh cleaning stuff today they but somebody from work brought, or from home brought it obviously which I don't care big huge barbecue which is obviously scrap which is awesome this is huge man it's a huge barbecue and then somebody brought a washer in from home which I don't care which is good works for me I love free scruff and I love when they bring it home bring it in from home so works for me I don't have to uh, run it to their houses to pick it up for them and they brought it in for me oh this is awesome so anyhow I got the lift down already like the all hooked up so we're gonna get this down and I've got to move it over on it as you can see it goes right to the ground I don't know if everybody's seen it or not I love it best investment I made for my truck great thing is even if I get rid of this truck I don't want to keep this truck I don't want to use it on this truck I move it to a different truck it's compatible with any truck so anyhow I gotta get the uh, I think a bit of the barbecue on first so I can strap it down all right so I'm gonna let these go and I'll show you when I get it loaded as you can see, I got it loaded. I strapped down the, uh, the barbecue because it's uh, top heavy. So I always put a strap down through the handle so I don't have to with the handle flip it off or something just in case for some reason the wind takes it and I don't need an accident. So I always strap them down and then the washer. I just laid it down. There was nothing standing it up. So as you can see, so there it is. I got my lift up now. Get it done and I can get out of here. Okay, today I'm doing some weed whack. I'm trying to whack this down. It was really high, so this is what we're doing. Well, I'm doing. April's still not home. She's, uh, I don't know, with her friends. So I still got to cut the lawn again before the barbecue. As you can see, it's long again. So, which is, uh, you know, uh, I got the weed whacker out, as you can see. So, 
But we walked around the uh, patio, and these are mom's flowers. She said, do not cut them down. So as you can see, they're still standing. Because normally, I would just take the weed whacker and go zing. But mom, she knows we're out here because April told her. So I'm leaving them there, as you can see. But anyhow, that's it. Okay, so I got a, a letter in the mail today. So I got uh, mail. I don't want to show you the address. It's from... Uh, her name is Susan Robertson, and she is one of my uh, subscribers, supporters, um, awesome person. I have no idea what's in the envelope or what is in here. So she just, uh, she said she sent me an email telling me that she had sent me something. So I already opened it, as you can see, because I can't do both. And April's not here, so you guys will see what I see when I pull it out here. I don't know if I can even do it with one hand. Uh, and I'm not uh, looking up the, well, I suppose I could have put that just... Uh, hold on. All right, so uh, I'm going to open it. I have it on my tripod, so let's see what's in it. Let's see. Try not to show the address. It says, Friends for Life. So there you go, Friends for Life, guys. And it says, I enjoy your YouTube videos. Hope you do more of your parks. Take care. From Southern Bell, Susan. So it's not nice. That's cool. We're friends forever, which is good. Friends. So there you go, guys. She sent me uh, a card, which was really cool. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Susan. And for sure, like I said, anybody that joins my channel, yeah, we are uh, friends for life. That's the way I feel. But uh, there you go. I thought I'd show you guys. She, uh, she, she had mailed me. She, she was wondering if I'd got it yet. So there you go, girls and guys, everybody. I got a card today, which was nice. And yes, I just came in from cutting the lawn, so my hands are... Ugh, I haven't even washed them yet. I will here in a minute. I'm still trying to cool off from being outside in this heat. It's actually warm today. And I think we're supposed to get uh, right up to the weekend. It's supposed to be 20 or something this weekend, so that should be good.